This is arguably the simplest yet most powerful way to build AI agents today. And not only that, but you can string these agents together to create even more powerful multi-agent workflows. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And what we're going to use is a tool called MindPal. And I've wanted to cover MindPal for some time, but I wanted to wait until they upgraded to their V3, which happens to be today. So we're going to dive in. Then I'm going to show you how we can build agents and then string them together to create powerful multi-agent workflows. So clicking the link below will bring you to mindpal.space. Now here we can sign up for a free account. Again, if you use the link, you get some free credits so you can follow along and build this out with me. So once you're inside, you can see we have pretty clean workspace, but let me tell you, there is actually a lot going on behind the scenes. So on the left here, obviously we're in the home, but if we go to workflows, this is where we actually string together any agents that we create to create workflows. And then below that we have agents. This is where we actually create the agents, give them their prompts, give them any training data. We can link the knowledge bases. We can change the temperature. We can give them access to certain tools and a bunch more that I'll show you in just a bit. And then we have assets. So this is where we actually add any knowledge sources, which I'll show you. So I have quite a bunch of different folders of different documents and stuff that I give to various different agents. And similarly, we have notes. So we can actually create notes and or have the agent create notes that which then we can use as training data as well, in addition to many other use cases. Then we have brand voices. So what's really cool about MindPal is we can actually train the agent to write in our style. So we train it, we create a style. And so you can see here, I have my style, my writing style. And if I click into this real quick, just to show you, it goes pretty in depth as it analyzes, you know, how I talk and how I actually deliver what I'm saying. And it takes, you know, your catchphrases, common things you say, any jargon that you use, and it's really cool. And then you can also create tools, but we're not going to go too in depth on all of this stuff. Right now, I just want to kind of show you how to navigate this platform. But what we want to do is go into either agents or workflows. You don't necessarily have to create the agents first. You can use AI to create the workflow and then the AI from MindPal will actually create the agents for you, depending on what you want to accomplish with the workflow. But to keep it simple, let's just go to agents and you can see I have a number of different agents here, but let's create a new agent. So if we go into new agent, we can actually give it the prompt to generate the agent. So MindPal actually has an AI behind it that creates AI, a lot of AI inception. So for example, we could do YouTube script writing agent. So that's the prompt. And then we can do an optional example output. So what exactly do we want this to look like? But to show you how this works, I'm just going to do generate with AI and then it will automatically create the prompt for the agent in addition to the output format. So we have the script should be structured as follows, you know, introduction, main content, bullet points, logical sequence, subheadings, conclusion. So we can go in here, modify it as we want. So what's cool is we can actually select whatever model we want to use for this agent. So we have all of the open AI models, and then you can also see the amount of credits it takes for each request. And you'll automatically have credits in your account. If you use the link to sign up. But if we scroll down, you can see we have all the open AI models. We have all the anthropic Claude models. We have all the Google Gemini models. Then we have some of the meta models in addition to the deep seek models right here. And so depending on what your agent's goal is to accomplish, you can assign it the relative model to best suit its mission. For example, I've been using the deep seek models for the research and then a lot of the Gemini models for like actually writing the content. But there are a ton of models. There's still a ton that I need to test out. But just the fact that you have all the models in just one platform and then you can string those together is in insanely powerful. So then we also have knowledge sources. So this is where you connect knowledge sources to your agent. So if you have documents for your business, or if you're using this to build out products for another business, you can train a model on all of that business's data to then answer questions or provide insight or anything that you want to tailor this agent to for a business, you can do so. You can train it on a ton of data. So you can change the knowledge source and then you can also tailor the output. So you can change the output language and then you can also change the brand voice. So you see here, I have a brand voice that's tailored around my way of speaking, my way of writing. 
So if I wanted the output of this model to sound like it's actually coming from me, I can select that here. And then once you have everything configured, you can just go down here, click create, and then it will create that agent for you. And what's cool is not only can we just go here and then directly chat with this agent, you can see here I have the YouTube script writing agent selected here. So I can just right now just converse with this agent and then I can also give it any knowledge sources, have it analyze anything in addition to any images. But aside from this, the best part about MindPal is the fact that you can create a bunch of different agents. And then over here in workflows, this is where you can actually connect a bunch of different agents together, each with their own task and create insane workflows. So the one I want to show you today is the AI product discovery and content planning agent. This is the first workflow that I've created on V3, which introduced a bunch of different nodes that we can use. If you want this workflow, all you need to do is in the community, just scroll down, go to MindPal Mastery, and then this is the AI product research template, and then you just download the JSON file here. And then once you download it, just go up here to new workflow and then import from JSON. And then the workflow right here, you can just click, open, and then it will import. So you'll see the exact workflow that I have complete with all the agents that are associated with this workflow. So now at the top of the workflow, we have what are called input fields. So if you click the input node right here, you can see that we have a label called audience interests, and then it's a type multi-select, okay? And then we have all of the options for this multi-select right here. So these, you can go in here, add, remove, change anything in here. So this is what we want the user of this workflow to select from. So since this is a product discovery for AI products, I have a bunch of different criteria someone can pick from. And then the second field is the preferred content format. So this is where I have people select the type of content format that they want. So they can select anything from here in addition to anything from here. So how this works is someone will select from this menu one or as many as they want. For example, they want AI and education and they want that in a blog post format, for example. So it'll take those values and then it will pass that information to our AI news research agent. So this agent has its own prompt within it, but we're also giving it another prompt for this workflow. So the prompt is find seven of the latest AI products and product updates related to the selected audience interests. Provide a brief description and key features of each product. Okay, so if we go back here, so if we did AI and entertainment and we want a blog post, it's going to find seven of the latest AI products and product updates related to AI entertainment. Now we have the evaluate product relevance step, which is where we give an agent the power to evaluate the input from this previous step. And then it's going to determine whether or not that data is sufficient enough to continue on with this workflow. So are the seven articles that this agent provided, are they suitable for this workflow? And for this stage in the workflow, I have my business partner agent who's trained on all of my data and all my products and everything like that. His goal is to make sure that the articles, the products that we've been given, are they relevant to our brand? Are they relevant to what our audience is interested in? So the task to execute is generate a list of AI products that are most relevant to the audience interests, rank them based on their personal impact and novelty. And so then we're also making a note to this agent that it's going to be given the information from audience interests and the input from the discover latest products node. So remember the audience interests is the input field from here, whereas the discover latest products input is from the previous stage. So we can reference those when we create a prompt if we want, but just so you know, anything that's green is going to be related to an output from a previous agent in that workflow. Whereas anything that's blue like this is going to be anything that's inputted directly from the user. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, we have max iterations. So if the output from this agent isn't sufficient, how many times do we want to retry to make sure that the output is sufficient? So I, I'm going to do two, it goes up to 10. So you can do as many iterations as you want. So once it determines that all these products are relevant to our business and our audience, the next step is to plan a content schedule. So I have a social media hook specialist. It's you know trained on viral social media hooks. It's trained on content creation. So we prompted it, create a structured content plan for discussing the selected AI products over a week. Include the content format and key points to cover each day. So it's going to take all the data from our research and then create a structured content plan. 
for each day of the week. That way we're having content going out every single day that's related to the latest products in the realm of AI for, what did we choose? AI and entertainment. But this doesn't have to be just AI, but this workflow can be tailored and created for any business, which is exactly what we teach in the Entrepreneur Empire. We have an entire business in a box for selling AI systems just like this. And again, it's free to start if you wanna check that out down below. But after we get our entire content schedule, the final step is to review and finalize the plan. So, th so this waits for us to approve the content, but it also allows us to add any additional comments. And what's cool about MindPal is that you can actually take this form, you know, this input form, and you can wrap it, give it your branding. So if we go over to form right here, you can change the entire format of the actual form. And then you can take this form and you can embed it on a website or you can embed it in your business in a box, or you can build this for other businesses and sell it to them as a product or a service. But now I want to show you what this workflow looks like in action. So here I have the workflow selected, the AI product discovery and content planning workflow. So we're going to select from this form and let's do AI and entertainment. And then content format, let's do a blog post because I like to take blog posts and turn them into videos. So then we'll just continue and then let it load. So you can see here it's doing research, Runway Gen 2, Synthesia, Deep Brain AI, Pictory, Descript, Adobe Sensei, Ava, and then now we have the evaluation step. So it's looking at this output, making sure that it's sufficient for one, and then also organizing it in best to least, giving us a good structure. Then it's giving us a summary. You can see that it passed the decision. It's giving us feedback on it. And then now it's creating a content schedule. So day one, introduction to AI and entertainment. Day two, spotlight on Runway Gen 2, exploring deep brain AI. So you can see it's giving us an entire week's worth of content complete with all of the key points that we can include in our content when we actually create it. So then we can approve content plan and it's good to go. So that is just scratching the surface on what this platform is able to do. Like I said, V3 just came out this morning, so I'm going to spend the rest of the week just diving in, playing with this and seeing what kind of stuff I can create. And anything that I create, I put in the Entrepreneur Empire community for you to download and use for free and also sell it to other businesses using the business in a box. So again, all the links are down below. I appreciate you watching this and I'll see you in the next video. Keep conquering.